Emacs gives you a few different ways to enter characters that may not appear on your keyboard. Let's say I wanted to type some Spanish. Hola, como estas? And for many Spanish speaking people, especially those who grew up with cell phones, this would be normal. But let's say you're writing a more formal document and you want to use the proper punctuation and accents. You can use the command made x set input method and then choose a Spanish input method. But let's go ahead and use a more general Latin 1 input method and we'll use prefix. This input method will allow us to add arbitrary accents and it works for more Latin languages than just Spanish. Now we can type hola as before but we can also add accents by first using the apostrophe for a rising accent on the first syllable of como and then another one on the last syllable of estas. To type the ñ in mañana, first type a tilde and then n. And finally, to add an inverted question mark to make this proper Spanish, use a tilde and then question mark. You can type other accented characters like a falling accent with a back tick. To see all the options for characters you can input, use meta x describe input method, which defaults to the method that you're using. Now let's continue typing. And notice that when I went to type let's, it worked, but it was a bit distracting. And if I try to type the phrase open up in quotes, I end up with an open that has a metal umlaut on it. The way around this is to use space after a character that would add an accent or modify the character after it. Or you can press control backspace to toggle your input method. Now we're back to literal keyboard input. What about more complex writing systems like Japanese? Let's try set input method with Japanese. And now we'll type hajime mashite and press return. If we need to type the kanji, let's say for the word nihon, we can press space instead of return to get the options available. And then return to select the current option. Note that for this to work, the buffer needs to be in a Unicode encoding. This shouldn't be a problem for you as long as you're using version 23 or later of Emacs. And you'll also have to have a font installed for the language that you're writing in. But what about for characters that aren't part of any natural writing system? Let's switch back to the default input mode. And let's say that we're on a Linux machine or a BSD machine and we want to type a carriage return. But pressing return enters a line feed. One method is to use control Q for a quoted insert and then press return. And we end up seeing this control character here, which you might see if you open up a file written in Windows inside of Emacs on a different operating system. But how do we know that this is actually a carriage return? One thing we can do is press control X and then equals. And this shows us that the character is ret and the code point is 13. This may not be enough to convince you, especially if you haven't memorized the ASCII table. So you can also press control U, control X equals for more extended display. And here under the old name is carriage return. What about characters that you know exist, but you don't know how to type them in, or there may not even be a method of typing them in with some mnemonic? To input an arbitrary Unicode character with its code point, press Control Q, and then the octal code point. For instance, a smiley is 23072, and then some non-octal character. But nobody really works in octal nowadays, so if you're going to be doing this regularly, 
you may want to use hexadecimal input. And to do that, use customize variable for read quoted char radix. It's set to 8 by default. Let's change it to 16 and save the changes for future sessions. Now let's try that again with the hex value, which is 263A. And finally, there's another input method that's useful for typing characters often found in mathematics. You may have guessed it's the tech input mode. Let's switch to it and describe the input mode. Meta x describe input method. And here you can see the types of characters that we can input. Let's try characters like pi. We'll type backslash pi. Another is the right arrow, right arrow. Note that this isn't a full tech typesetting environment. It's just some of the character mnemonics taken from tech. We'll cover working with tech and law tech in a future episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.